Today I'll be teaching you how to add some cool things to your game to make it a lot better than it is now. The first hack I'm going to show you is the smooth mouse follow hack. Let's go to events and let's drag out when green flag clicks. First, we need the cat to be able to point towards the mouse so we know which direction it's going to move in. Let's go to control and let's drag out forever. Now let's go to motion and let's drag out to point towards mouse pointer. The cat should be pointing towards the mouse and that's what we want. Now we need the cat to actually move towards the mouse. Let's go to motion and let's drag out to move 10 steps. Now let's press the green flag. You'll see the cat is moving towards the mouse, but if we stop, the cat sort of glitches out. To fix this, let's go to operators and let's drag out a divided by symbol. We're going to be dividing distance to mouse pointer by five. So let's go to sensing and drag out distance to mouse pointer. Now, the cat should be moving smoothly towards the mouse, and you'll see if the mouse stops, no more glitching out. Okay, for the next coding hack, I'll show you how to make a trail that is going to follow the cat. Let's go to control, and let's drag out create clone of myself. Pressing the green flag, you'll see now that there is a trail behind the cat, but there's one problem. There is a 300 clone limit on Scratch right now. So once we reach that 300 limit, Scratch is going to start to lag and bug out. To stop this, we need to delete the clones before there's too many of them. Let's drag out to when I start as a clone. Let's go to events and let's drag out to repeat 10. Now, let's delete this clone afterwards. So we have repeat 10. That means there should be 10 clones on the screen at the same time. And if we wanted there to be more clones, we would change this to 50. So now there should be 50 clones. Now let's add some effects to the trail to make it a lot cooler. First, let's change the color effect by 5. So now you should see the clones have that nice color trail. Now let's also change size by minus 5. And let's change ghost effect by 2. So now the clones should shrink and they should slowly fade out. And there goes our nice trail effect. For this hack, I'm going to show you how to make a rotating circle text with the sign block in the operators category. Let's paint a new sprite and let's click on the text tool. Now for this text, I want to make it cool with some shadows and an outline, not like the default text. So let's type what we wanted it to say. So subscribe. All right, now let's make the text bigger. And this is important. Make sure the text is centered inside of the middle. Now let's add some outline maybe three and let's change the outline so it's the same color as the text fill so now the text should be really wide now let's copy and paste the text and put it back in the center and let's change the fill to a different color and let's also turn down the outline and we have to make that zero so now we have text with an outline maybe let's also add a shadow so let's copy and paste the text again let's turn up the outline and let's click back so that should go all the way to the back of all the texts there we go we have a nice little shadow okay that was a little art hack right there now let's go back to the code let's make a variable and let's call it sign and let's press ok now when the green flag is clicked we want the text to go to the center of the screen so let's drag out to go to x0 and y0 now we also need to set sign to 0 and I'm going to delete this my variable variable here. No one's using it. Let's drag out a forever block. And in here, we're going to change sign by five. Now, what this does is controls the speed of the sign block that we're going to use. Let's go to motion. Let's drag out set X to and set Y to. We're going to use our handy operators abs of and let's change it to sign. Now let's go to variables and let's drag out our sign variable. And let's put that inside of that slot. Now let's right click and duplicate this sine of sine and let's change it to cosine of sine. Not a lot is happening right here, but you'll see right here the position is changing from minus one to zero to one and it's slowly going back and forth. We want the x and y position to move a lot further though, so we're going to have to multiply this. Let's go to operators and let's drag out a multiply block. And then the second slot, let's put in 5. Now we're going to be multiplying sine of sine times 5 and cosine of sine also multiplied by 5. Now you'll see that the subscribe text is moving a lot further than it was. To change the speed, let's change this change sine by 5 to something else. So 15. That controls the speed. To change the amount, 
we would use this right here. So let's maybe make this 20. So now the text moves a lot further and we have a nice little effect there. You can use for intros, death screens, whatever you want. All right, let's move on to the next hack. For this hack, I'm gonna show you how to make a 3D text effect in Scratch. Let's paint a new costume and you can make this anything you want, but I think I'm gonna make it my name. So I'm gonna select the text tool and just type in my name. Now I'm gonna make it bigger. Also make sure you center the text, that's important. Now I'm gonna add some outline and I'm gonna make it the same as the fill, like the text effect that we did earlier. Now I'm gonna copy it, reduce the outline and change the fill to something else. There we go. So there goes a handy little text hack there. Now let's go back to the code and we're gonna start coding our hack. Now to create the 3D effect, we're gonna be using clones. When the green flag is clicked, let's go to the center of the screen. And then we also need to create the clone. So let's drag out repeat 10, create clone of myself. And then to make the text look like it's getting closer to the camera, let's go to looks and we're going to be changing size by 10. Now we also need to hide the original sprites. And then when we start as a clone, we need to show. Now let's press the green flag. And there we go. You'll see the text looks like it's coming up and extruding from the bottom of the screen and coming closer to the camera. Now to increase the amount of 3D effect you have, you will change this, repeat 10. So let's make it maybe 30. There we go. And we also need to reset the size back to 100. We can make this text effect a lot cooler. Let's go to my blocks and let's make a block and let's call it 3D. Let's tick run without screen refresh, that's important, and press OK. Now we're going to be dragging all this code and putting it inside of the define 3D block. And don't forget we need to drag this 3D block back out. For this hack, I'm going to be making the text follow the mouse and have a little parallax effect. So what we're going to do is go to control and let's drag out forever. We're going to be attaching that to when I start as a clone. Now let's go to motion and this is a cool little, I don't know, to call it tip I guess. Let's drag out turn 1 degrees. When we press the green flag, you'll see that the text is rotating. Now let's stop the project. Let's go to motion again, and let's drag out to go to X and Y. We're gonna do a little math here to put each clone in its right position to have a 3D effect. Let's go to operators and drag out a multiply block in both of them. Now let's drag out a divided by block in both of them. So let's go to sensing. We're going to be multiplying mouse X times size divided by 100 and we're going to do the same thing for y so mouse y times size divided by 100 there we go when we press the green flag you'll see that the text is following the mouse it's rotating and there goes our 3d effect so those are some small little hacks that you can add to your game. Updated text that doesn't look boring, you can add this 3D effect. You can make the cat follow the mouse smoothly. Alright everyone, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.